Hey guys, before I start this video, just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed to this channel. It really means a lot to me. Very close to a thousand subscribers, which is a goal I've been working for for a long time. Uh, about 30 away. And when we hit that number, I'm going to pick one of my subscribers to take to a Spurs game. So be sure to hit that button if you haven't already. The Spurs beat the Bucks 126 to 104, handing the best team in the league their worst loss of the year. It's kind of surprising if you consider the year that San Antonio's having, but they're starting to turn things around in a very real way. If you want to understand how the Spurs beat Milwaukee, you first have to understand the different way that they've been playing in the past couple of weeks. The main difference is that LaMarcus Aldridge is stepping out and hitting three-pointers. He's attempting over four per game, and he's shooting 20 of 30 on those attempts. For you math nerds out there, that's the same efficiency as if he hit 100% of his two-point attempts. Uh, let's take a look at the tape. Remain in from the starting five. White with a drive and a pitch out to an open Aldridge for three. Court media postings, LaMarcus Aldridge is the sole problem for San Antonio. Not the case. The John Morant show here the last couple of minutes. Aldridge, an open three. San Antonio, 12 up and 17 down. They've won five of their last eight games. Here is Aldridge. Yes. Look for it. That's pretty much going to be their staple. They average nine points per game. In the low block, Tim Duncan and David Robinson. I see. It's almost like you're telling me. It's down by three. Approaching the midway mark here of this second quarter. LaMarcus for three. Hits the street. Five second differential shot clock at a game clock. LaMarcus looking for his fourth three at the half. Yes. yes. Transition. Aldridge has been hot from that spot. It's almost freeing going out knowing, you know, you're just out there to try to make someone else's New Year. Bill just Alexander, that's kind of sharp it up. DeJounte Murray to start off the ball game. He's trying to feed it inside. DeJounte screws to save it. L.A. another triple. You betcha! DeJounte Murray. Lead on the shot clock. Back to Aldridge. L.A. Oh, my goodness. They have really done a good job defensively on San Antonio. Good contest. Aldridge goes. And uber athleticism. There's a three. But cross court. Trey Lyles back to LaMarcus Aldridge. Steps behind the arc. And hits off his warm-up. He'll try to get into the game at the next opportunity. LaMarcus Aldridge in the first quarter. 56%, two through four. Been teams that did a great job playing both sides of the court. Going to that third side. Start on the right. Move it to the left. I think it's going to be the story of this game, being able to knock down those shots if you're the Bucks. Excellent defense on DeRozan, but LaMarcus Aldridge was alone in the game. Obviously, a six foot eleven player hitting 66% of his threes is great enough on its own. But the real thing that this does for the Spurs offense is open everything up. The floor spacing is so much closer to ideal in today's NBA. And one thing that we've seen as a result is DeMar DeRozan has more of an opportunity to attack with the ball in his hands and with a better opportunity to attack the basket, seeing as there isn't a big man clogging the paint. Let's take a look. Passing, going from one side of the floor to the other. Again, rotations, looking, trying to make, trying to open up some outside shooting lanes for the Spurs. DeJounte Murray, tricky dribbles on Giannis, gives it up to DeRozan for the two-handed flush. Well, you get a buck, get the disruptor, and you know, hopefully you, you just let that possession go. There's no carryover. Rebounds on Saturday, tying his career best. He was a plus 10 in that game. Didn't he? Well. Dante's able to handle the ball. Pull-ups aren't bad as well. He misses that one, but his really his passing abilities. And then I said, hey, coach, you didn't mention his defensive tenacity. That's really what he's known for on this team. And he said, hey, well, that's a given. You guys should know that. So a real good talk with Coach Jay Wright. All right, Zora, the by DeRozan. Missing the three. If Troublesome energy here early on. The market's Aldridge. Nobody puts a body on him. Well, body late by Dante DiVincenzo. Opponent have a dunk in an NBA game was last March. New Orleans at Orlando. Here's that early switch. Matthews on the Marcus. Good help. By Giannis. 
takes off the open. Well, drafted by the Spurs. And again, right now they're just struggle to, to generate some consistent offense at the Bucks' end of the floor. Credit some of that to the San Antonio defensive effort. The Bucks double Lamarcus Aldridge on the catch. He finds Demar Derozan. They work it to Derozan the other night against the Spurs. Dejounte Murray. Deep drive and a kick out for DeRozan. And now from the corner, a three. Trail. Allowed. DeJounte Murray drives to the elbow and scores. Just over four minutes in the second quarter. DeRozan. And a foul will be called on Brooke Lopez. Mike Budenholzer doesn't believe that. Well, and the issue that you, you have in. And a technical has been assessed to Brooke. Kevin Cutler tees him up. Brooke complaining a little. Had no place to go. I mean, nice job defensively. And, and that's DeRozan initiating contact. And watch DeRozan. DeRozan is the one that kind of throws that left shoulder into Brooke. Brooke goes straight up, arm up, extended. It's not a good call. But Brooke better be careful. <laughs> I've seen guys get kicked going vertical, the principle of verticality in the restricted area, all the things that you're supposed to be allowed to do as a big call for applauding the official. And Marcus Aldridge made the tech. Strom called a technical foul on and Quinn just clapped once. 344 remaining in the quarter. Oh, there are so many Earl Strom stories. He was amazing. DeRozan gives it up to Trey Lyles. He's been hitting from the corner. Hit from three point shot tonight, and it's going to be the story of this game, being able to knock down those shots if you're the Bucks. Excellent defense on DeRozan, but Lamarcus Aldridge was alone in the corner. Before Christmas, with a minimum of 53 point attempts attempted. Wow. Another great third swish jumper that we see from Chris but hopefully just enough to get him going in this game he saw something finally go through the rim for it under 10 minutes in the third LaMarcus Aldrich gallops through the paint to score well you give LaMarcus Aldrich that much time in 61 straight games 43 straight on the road will they get there tonight LaMarcus Aldrich and DeMar DeRozan just over eight minutes in the third to the post for LaMarcus Aldrich. Stick hand, Brooke Lopez. Trey Lyles tracks down the rebound. Reset 14 seconds for the Spurs. Meyer DeRozan, tricky dribbles on the bigger man, Brooke Lopez. I say Savant because you've, you know, you've got to, at the point of release, to kiss it softly off the glass. Those are difficult finishes for Giannis inside. But aesthetically pleasing. 15 points for Ada de Kumbo. Now this is the challenge for him, being a two-way ball player. Demar DeRozan gone, no question. DeRozan, Matthews stays body to body, forcing the pass. Lonnie Walker hits the three. Nice job, Demar DeRozan, and Chris Middleton does everything he can in terms of 24 points, 11 rebounds, seven assists. A little less than six minutes remaining. Down 14. How much longer do you give this, this group on the floor now to cut deeper into this lead? I'd say like maybe two or three minutes. See if they can cut it to single digits. Lamarcus Aldridge. Playing modern style basketball. Being able to, to, to keep up with the point production of the opponents. These two teams have... When it came time to win this game in the fourth quarter, the Spurs' two best players both settled in and did their jobs. Marcus Aldridge spaced the floor, set screens, DeMar DeRozan attacked and distributed and played really, really well down the stretch of this game. On your own early, whether you're Giannis or Chris or whomever. Matthews made that tough. Popovich feels like he can live with that one-on-one -on -one matchup as long as he, he the Spurs keep everybody else contained. Oh, yeah. Walker. He thought he was fouled. Missed badly at the rim. 
Very atypical. DeJounte Murray pops for three. Points with this team from this point on. The 100 point streaks are still a little time. Some coaches will go along with that, some don't like it. Thinking only bad things can happen when you roll the ball up the court. Bledsoe inside. Saw a lot of defenders. Awkward shot. Here's DeRozan. Lonnie Walker leaves it for Rudy Gay. It's really cool to see San Antonio's offense clicking on all cylinders, but the thing that probably has Pop most excited is the uptick in defense. Um, against the Bucks, they had a very deliberate strategy against Giannis Antetokounmpo. We saw it employed by the Sixers in the playoffs last year. Basically, going to throw three guys at him. The Spurs basically built a wall, gave him a defender to his left, right, and center, and basically said, you're going to either have to shoot a perimeter jump shot or pass it out, or make a really tough shot at the rim. And, you know, Giannis had 24 points and 8 assists, but that's that's pretty good to hold him to just that. And they fought really, really hard to hold him to just that. At five serve for him. Giannis stripped on his way to the rim, and it bounced out to Matthews. Ten on the shot clock. Pointers just uh, 27 on average per game, 30th in the league. Giannis against Aldrich. To the corner. Corner three. But Lopez blocked seven shots on Saturday night, six the game before. Jump. Right down at you. Just try and guess. He does a nice job guessing, and then the quick hands gets him all on. Kevin Cutler with the toss, the Bucks control. Let's get the reset. DiVincenzo from Giannis, bring it up, a triple. To count for the totality of the points that you're responsible for. Nice job again, Giannis, that's another. And so dumps it into Giannis, he kicks it. All alone, all day, Middleton. Hey, hey. I don't know what we can do. And looks, Spurs did a pretty good job of keeping Giannis at bay in terms of points in the paint here. See the commitment, four guys in black in the key. You got to knock down some of those kickouts from Giannis. Athleticism, his size, his ability to create separation off the bounce. 26 points Saturday in Milwaukee, 13 in 11 minutes tonight for DeRozan to the corner for three. Loose ball. San Antonio had been at 50%, 17 of 34 before that shot. The Bucks at 32%. Again, playing off Giannis. This time he doesn't take the three. Middleton, great move to get inside. Nice little look off by Chris. In the second quarter. And freeze it right here. Freeze it here. Freeze it here. You see these three defensive players. There's that wall of defensive players. Keep your eye on Chris Middleton. No place for Giannis to go. And Chris, beautiful job of just... Sobo shows three finds Giannis. Nice kick to the corner. And West did a great job on that one legged fade. And here's another one. Giannis, little fade away off. Giannis to the corner. Matthews again. Yes. And that many dribbles on the box. He's going to find a way to score on you. Man, to stretch out the defense. There it is, the year. The Bucks able to control the rebound in the first half. San Antonio shot 60% on threes, 50. And so Trey Lyles missing his shot. Here comes Giannis. Downhill big time. Lyles working against Lopez. The Bucks have it. Giannis. Giannis has a double-double. That's his 10th rebound. Lead. Giannis. That bounces down for the patient at the point of looped it beautifully to Giannis. It's an and one by Giannis. You see it with three black shirts around him and then just powers through on the inside. Giannis in traffic, beautifully done. The fourth. Giannis with a one-handed rebound. 
Excellent ball movement here. Open shooter, Middleton. And three rolls across to Dillon. First on Gay, first on the team. They go right back to the matchup. Giannis against Gay. Bledsoe's open. Patty Mills runs at him. That's over the top, and George Hill turns it over. It's off. Some defensive stops that was just way too easy on that roll and dive. Bledsoe for three. Yes. Have to take a contested three-point shot. All right, Dario. We will look forward to Bucks live post game. Yeah. Good help off of Walker by Chris Middleton. Giannis through. A lot of other things happened in this game to help give the Spurs the win. Patty Mills hit 6 out of 10 threes. The Spurs as a team hit 19. So they almost set a franchise record for most threes made in a game. And anytime you do that, you're probably going to win. The second unit looked really good with Lonnie Walker and Derek White in there, together with Rudy Gay. Um... And there were a lot of good things in this game, but the main things that this win boiled down to for the Spurs were they hit outside shots, DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge played off each other perfectly, and they had a great defensive game plan against Giannis Antetokounmpo. We'll see if they can carry this momentum into tonight's game with the Celtics and a tough schedule for the rest of January. Keep an eye on all those games and make more videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you. And as always... Go Spurs, go.